Hi, Bill Jones from Turntastic Wood Designs. I made this step stool today that is based on a design I saw on Bob from I Like to Make Stuff. And uh, I really like the design, so I copied it. Uh, it is, the steps are a foot apart, so that's two foot tall, which is a lot higher than most steps, but it's, it's really nice for here in the shop because I'm pretty short and that helps me get up pretty high. It also has the lid uh, to a toolbox. So this part here is a little toolbox. You've got, uh, can put some things in here and then down in the bottom there's an area where you can put some tools if you're working on a project. Uh, if you'd like to see how I did it, stick around and I'll show you next. I've got this long piece of plywood that was left over from a previous project and I'm going to try and use as much of this as I can. I've laid out a zigzag pattern on the, uh, on the piece here. For, to, for the sides. And uh, I'm gonna try to cut that with a jigsaw. That is gonna mean a plunge cut with a jigsaw so that I can get both sides out of one piece and waste as little as possible. Plunge cut with a jigsaw can be a little tricky, so we're gonna see how this goes. I cut an area out of the bottom of the sides forming four legs. This will allow the uh, stool to set more evenly on an uneven floor. I cut a piece for the bottom and attached it to the sides with a little glue and inch and five eighths drywall screws. The first step is notched out so that the back part of the step fits between the side supports and the front part has a little overhang on each side purely for aesthetic reasons. Before I attach that first step, I do a couple of things to it. I round over the edges, then using a drill and a jigsaw, I cut a slot for a handhold. Then I go ahead and attach that first step with glue and screws. I cut the parts for the sides and the bottom of the toolbox and I attach them with screws and glue also. I added a couple of pieces to the bottom area to add some stability to keep it from racking and also to keep anything that I put in there from rolling out. Finally, I cut the piece that will serve as the toolbox lid and the top step and attach it with some brass hinges that I happen to have. Well, it came out pretty good. Uh, it's very sturdy and it helps me uh, get up high where I need to get and, and uh, will be handy for, uh, for doing certain projects, especially if I need to get up high. Uh, if you liked this video and found it useful, please like and share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here today or anything in my shop or any other project I've done, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Leave a comment below and I'd be happy to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching.